to be honest, when I when the screen flipped on and I could see the field of view with Polaris in it, I had that gut feeling of, oh man, I should have been using this a long time ago. This is Trevor from astrobackyard.com and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the QHY Pole Master. Now this is an astrophotography device used to get extremely accurate polar alignment. I've been doing this process manually myself for the last eight years and I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job but this takes the polar alignment process to the extreme. Using the camera on the front of the QHY Pole Master, it gives you a readout of the stars surrounding the North Celestial Pole here in the Northern Hemisphere. And then I'm able to match up a star pattern that it's gonna display for me on screen to get the most precise polar alignment possible uh, on a level that I just couldn't do with the naked eye using the uh, illuminated reticle method the way I used to. I've actually got two rigs running tonight. I have the Red Cat 51 and Skyguider Pro up on the deck capturing the Horsehead Nebula in HA. And then down here is the primary rig with the uh, my full deep sky setup and uh, hopefully capturing the Pinwheel Galaxy tonight. Here's a look at the Pole Master attached to the front of my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro telescope mount. So I've got the uh, Skywatcher EQ6 adapter on the front of the mount and then the camera base slides into that using a thumb screw. So I can take it out here. That's what the adapter looks like. And there's the back. And then uh, just fits right in there. And there's a thumb screw at the top to tighten it in. And then plugged into the bottom here is a mini USB cable. I'll unplug it just so you can see what it looks like. I love that it has these locking screws in it so you can't accidentally yank it out. I wish more of my cables had these. So there's the USB, mini USB 2.0 and it connects into the bottom here. Okay, here we are connecting to the Pole Master. I've got the device plugged in of course and I'm gonna hit connect. And there we see some stars on the screen. So I'm gonna follow the prompts that it gives me here. Set the parameters to the left to make more stars around Polaris visible. So they're talking about the parameters. So exposure, and gain. And if I bump those up, I'll see the screen get brighter, but I can see plenty of stars. Actually, I think I overdid it there. Let's go back down and I'm gonna stick with this one. That, that works well. I'm gonna hit finished. Double click Polaris and use the rotate slider on the left to rotate the template. So I'm going to double click Polaris and I see the rotate slider. Where are we? Oh, I think that was it. All right, almost had it. That's the one. Does match success, match success. Would you like to use the access center position recorded last time you used the Pole Master? No, so this is when I set it up last night and I'm, to be honest, I am very close to being perfectly polar aligned right now. I won't use that though, we'll go through this again. Choose a star other than Polaris and double click it in the image. Remember this star, you'll be selecting it again in the following step. I'll choose, this one will be easy to remember. Double click it, okay. Rotate your mount's RA axis in the direction indicated by the arrow. I better turn the mount on for that because when I did this last night, I did it. I released the RA clutch 
and, and manually moved it, but in the manual it says to do it with the hand controller. Okay, so I'm gonna move it east and you'll sh you should see the rotation here on screen. There it goes. Is that east? I'd have done the wrong way. There goes a the plane. I went west. It was cool to see the plane go by. Here we go. This is, oh, and look at uh, the satellite going by right by Polaris. You see that? There, it's still going. Rotate a minimum of 30 degrees. Okay, she's pretty spun up here. All my cords okay? Hope so. Go a little farther. It's got to be 30 degrees. Is rotation finished? Yes. Double click the same star again. Oh, here we go. Choose chosen in the previous step. Okay, I remember it was this one, I think. <laughs> again, rotate your mount's RA axis in the same direction, at least 30 degrees. Well, I can't go much farther. Are you seeing this thing? Oh, I'm gonna go any further. Good. Oh, jeez. Got a cable snag here. Bush lead, rookie mistake. Okay, here we go. That's gotta be another 30 degrees. Has rotation finished? Finished. Double click the same star one last time chosen in the previous two steps. Okay. Return the RA axis to the home position. Ensure your chosen star t stays in the circle when your mount rotates to the park position. Okay, I'm gonna manually move her back. Let's see if that star stays in the circle. And she certainly looks to be in the circle. Yep, spinning right along the circle. <laughs> Coming home. Look at all those wires. When did this happen? All right. Is the access center correct? Correct. Another satellite going by Polaris. See it? Double click Polaris and use the rotate slider on the left to rotate. Okay, I'm gonna double click Polaris and we're gonna rotate. That's the one. Match success. Using your altitude and azimuth bolts, move Polaris into the center of the small rotating circle now shown on the image. <laughs> like I said, it was very close. Is it even worth moving? I'm not gonna get it any closer than that. Now it's fine tuning. Matched up. Please click the start monitor button. Okay, here we go, home stretch. Use your altitude and azimuth bolts only to move the pole rectangle on top of the axis circle. Wow, okay, so this is talking about right over here. And I remember this from yesterday. This is some seriously fine tuning. So it doesn't take much movement to get a big change in that square. Okay, that's pretty darn close. What do you guys think? Finished. Boom. How you like me now? All right, we are polar aligned, my friends. As you can see, that moon is big and bright tonight, so uh, not the best time to be imaging in the true color. One of the coolest things about the Pole Master, and I didn't realize this until I was researching it more to, to do this review, was that it actually helps with your star alignment and your go-to accuracy, which makes sense, right? Your pointing accuracy can improve when you're perfectly 
aligned with the polar axis. So when you're rotating an RA, it knows where objects are that much better than if your polar alignment is off because it's just another variable to add to the equation to get lost in the sky. So I'm gonna put that to the test and just do a one star alignment on uh, Alcade because that star is right next to the pinwheel galaxy. So that would be really convenient. I've got all these cables and wires running here. So if I can just point in that direction where Alcade is, align on that star, punch in M101, whoosh, hop right over there. I don't have to worry about that slew and wildly across the sky for a three star alignment just so I can find M101. I'm just choosing my first star. There it is, Alcade. So that's right at the handle of the Big Dipper. So there's the star Alcade in the center of the frame through the red filter. And I'm going to confirm that. Alignment successful. That's a one star align. And now in real time, we're going to put this uh, theory to the test that uh, all you need is a one star alignment with the pull master. So I'm going to take the hand controller here. Messy object 101 and it's going to slew it and the telescope won't move a whole lot because it's very close to Alcade, which is the whole idea. Very close. That's a thing of beauty. I could get used to this. Because I know this area, I do faintly see the pinwheel galaxy right in the center there. It's hard to see in a six seconds exposure in red. I'm going to bump that up to 12 seconds and see if it appears. I can see it already. I see the nucleus of it. That theory holds true, at least uh, in this case, in this scenario. One star alignment is all you need with the Pole Master installed. How do you like that? And then I can go back to, let's wait for the sub to finish. Getting too excited here. I can go back to the monitor here and this is how close I am to polar alignment. Very close still. And that's after my go-to, so I can fine tune that. All good, Pole Master, loving it so far. So hopefully you stuck it out to the end there and you saw my experience using the Pullmaster from QHY and I really think it is a really cool device. I polar aligned my mount manually by looking through the polar scope and referencing my mobile app for so many years and I really feel like I did it pretty well at getting my mount polar aligned but I was definitely not as accurate as I could have been with the precise polar alignment using a sensitive CCD camera and dedicated software to get the job done. There's a few benefits to the Pole Master over doing it the old school manual way. One big one, and this is important for a lot of people, is not having to get behind the polar scope down on the ground to look through it and find Polaris. This way you're just looking at the computer screen as you make those fine tuning adjustments to the altitude and azimuth and so not only is it more precise but it's a lot more comfortable so that's a big plus. You can actually get polar aligned a lot sooner too because you can actually do the process at dusk before your eyes can adapt and see Polaris. You can adjust the settings on the camera, the exposure and the gain to actually pick up the star field at dusk and start polar aligning before your eyes can actually pick up Polaris. Obviously it took me about 10 to 15 minutes on my second run through with the Pole Master and I'm trying to explain things as I go, but I really think the whole process wouldn't take a whole lot more than three or four minutes once you get used to it and then you know you're precisely polar aligned. The pointing accuracy of my telescope seemed to improve. You no longer have to do a three star alignment, a one star alignment is all you need because when you accurately align the polar axis of your telescope mount with the North Celestial Pole, it can match the rotation perfectly and then you remove that variable when it's searching around for a star using the GoTo system. All in all, I think it's an incredible little device. I think it's affordable at under $300 for what it does because as you know in astrophotography, polar alignment is so critical. So if you have a little tool that can let you master it like this, I think it's worth its weight in gold. The software was great. It was easy to install, easy to understand. It actually, it walks you through the process. There's a reason that so many people own these things. It's because it works, it makes your life easier, and it lets you get totally precisely polar aligned, and that's so important. And if you guys wanna learn more about the Pole Master, you can check out my full article on astrobackyard.com. And until next time, clear skies.